What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install CurseForge mod packs. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future tutorials. Minecraft modded is such a fun experience, and it's really a step up from vanilla. I mean, you can only build so much before it becomes monotonous and kind of mundane. So when you want to add some new mods or even mod packs, where do you go? Well, if you want to find things like Pixelmon Reforged or RLCraft and things of that nature, the place that you want to hit up is CurseForge. CurseForge is the most official, unofficial type of mod place that you can get. But before we jump in, let's make sure that you know you can find any links that you may need in the description of this video. Just head down there and under useful links you'll find any sort of link that I reference in this video. Speaking of links, let's first download the app. So either click the link in the description or type in your browser download.curseforge.com and what should appear is this page. From here you can select your operating system and run the installer and once the installer is done, you can launch the app. This is where you'll be doing most of your installing. From multiple different mod packs, you can go ahead and click on the Browse Mod Packs section, and you can see a list of many different types. And there's actually many different ways to categorize which ones you're looking for, whether it be adventure or sci-fi or whatever. But if you know exactly what mod pack you're looking for, you may be interested to check out the search bar at the top. For example, if I want to search up SevTech, then I type it in, hit enter, and it appears. It's really quite awesome. There is an alternative way to install these CurseForge mod packs, but you still technically need the app. So go to curseforge.com slash minecraft slash mod packs, and you'll be greeted with this page. This is the mod packs page. If you don't fancy the interface of the app, you can just select it from the browser here, and of course you can select Pixelmon for example, and you'll be greeted with the description as well as different types of links as the wiki, and of course the files section, which is the place where you'll be downloading most of the things. Now, whether or not you want the latest version or a very specific version of this mod pack, it's up to you. But the main way that you handle it is either click the orange install button right at the top or go down to recent files, select view all, and then you can check out pretty much any type of game version that you want. Of course, when you're ready to choose whichever version you want, you just click on the orange install button and it'll greet you with a pop up and you'll want to have the app installed, of course. But once you hit yes, you'll start the download in CurseForge. Well gamers, this wasn't a super difficult tutorial, but hopefully one that you found helpful. Whether or not you want to use mod packs to fight crazy enemies, revamp the game completely, or honestly just visit different dimensions because they're that cool, like the Twilight Forest here. It's up to you, and CurseForge is a great place to find anything you need. Well gamers, that'll just about do it for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.